Hi everybody, you want to show a shift to the right of LRAS. How do you do that? Well, my philosophy is to keep it really simple. There are two different uh, ways in which you can do this. You can use the classical model, you can use the Keynesian model, but just keep it really, really simple. Let's start with the classical model. So it's price level on the y-axis and real GDP on the x-axis. All I would recommend you do is just draw AD and LRAS. Just keep it really simple. Don't overdo things, is my philosophy. So AD first, there's AD1, there's LRAS1, and shift it simply to the right to LRAS2. Alright? That will score you all the marks. And all you need to label is your initial price level and your initial full employment level of output, YFE1. And now your new equilibrium, which is with a lower price level, lower cost push inflation, with a higher level of actual growth and potential growth. And simply stick an arrow on to show that, that the full employment level of output has increased as a result of the shift to the right of LRS. If you want to draw the arrow to show that, you can do. So that's all I recommend you doing in the classical model. Simple, simple stuff. In the Keynesian model, it's again very easy. Price level on the y-axis and real GDP on the x-axis. What you want to show here is your initial Keynesian LRAS. Now, what you need to do here is to make sure that you draw your aggregate demand cutting LRAS in this curved path. So make sure you draw your AD curve like that. It's going to help you get the next part right. Right, so to show the shift of LRAS to the right, just extend the curve. So extend it out like that from the horizontal part. Extend it outwards and we have the shift. Put an arrow if you want to and now get your equilibrium drawn. So initial equilibrium is at Y1 and P1. New equilibrium is at Y2 and P2. That's fine. But also stick on the full employment levels. So a, bit, a little bit extra to put on as well. But you need to because that's what you're showing. An increase in the potential level of growth. All right? And that will do the job for you there. So whether it's the classical model or the Keynesian model, you have ways to shift your LRAS curve to the right. Have we labelled our axis on both? Yes, we have. Have we labelled all of our curves? Yes, we have. Have we labelled the equilibria? Yes, we have on both. On the Keynesian one, there's slightly more to label, but we still made sure we've done everything as we need to do. If you want to stick an arrow on, stick an arrow on to show that as well. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.